All right, today what we're going to do is we got a little Kyoto CK3510 hydrostatic drive and we're going to replace the fuel filter. There are their instructions. Uh, wipe the surface clean, unscrew the plug on the bottom of the fuel filter to drain fuel, remove fuel filter, remove foreign materials such as dirt thoroughly and replace fuel filter with a new one. Well, that don't really give you give you the greatest description but uh and i've never changed one on this specific uh tractor uh but so this will be the first time i've replaced it on this tractor you got the little uh sorry for the lighting but there's a plug here electrical connector that goes to the bottom you push a little plastic tab at the very top of the connector and then it unplugs um they talk about uh draining it first but uh what we'll see here i suppose i could unscrew this and drain it i mean you're gonna learn with me here yeah i think i would have rather uh <laughs> took it down full of fuel Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now she's draining. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I gotta, I wonder that thing, if it's gravity fed, do I need to squeeze off one of these lines? Um, or is it going to stop running eventually here? Um, I think maybe a guy would have been better off squeezing off one of them lines. I'm going to go grab a tool here real quick. All right, all right, which one is probably the feed? Now, if you do this, you, you never want to squeeze her very tight, but I basically just took a little vice grip, squeeze it onto that line there. You definitely don't want to do that too tight, though. I mean, you will wreck the line, but... Uh, I wasn't sure if they had a check valve in there. I guess, I don't know. It didn't say nothing about it doing that, I guess. <laughs> so we'll spin this bad boy off. There goes our filter. Okay, now I'll grab the new filter. Okay, sorry about the view. I'll try and adjust this camera here. Okay, do I got a decent view there? Not really, huh? Not the worst, but uh, okay, so the, you're gonna take the new filter. Sorry for the camera angles here, guys. But you take the new filter, stick it on, you're gonna put a little oil on the seal. And then, uh, where's our little electrical doodad? And we will screw this bad boy in. I'll hold it further away here so we can see her. Yeah, next time I think I would uh, leave this on. Live and learn. Okay, so you just tighten that up. Do we got the same part number of filter here? I always like to check that. Uh, F6800-16411. Yeah, same, same filter. 
Okay. Now what we're gonna do, screw this one back on, or the new one on. All right, now we can probably take that off of there. Ah, uh, depending on how uh, difficult it is, a lot of times I'll uh, fill my, when doing diesel fuel filters, I'll fill them halfway up. But this one has a little pump So basically, on this fuel filter, when you're tightening her up, sorry about the camera angle there, but you, you put her on there, and uh, as soon as it touches, then you wanna give it about three quarters of a turn, okay? And as I was saying, on some fuel filters, I'll fill them like halfway full, but uh, this one, what I am going to do, because it's got the little pump there, uh, it doesn't say anything about it in the directions, but it's got a little screw here, so I'm assuming you loosen that screw up and you pump away. Until fuel starts coming out of there. All right, after pumping away, we got it, I believe. If you see this little screw there, uh, when I press that, you see how the fuel comes out of there? Okay, so that's bled then. Again, it mentions nothing of this in the service man or the owner's manual. So then I tighten that screw back up. And then we got our little connection down here. I'll connect this back in. And we should be uh, good to start it. I might need two hands to, to get that connected. Nope. Heard a click. Okay. So we're a little messy here, but uh, I'll hose that off with some water. We got her nice and tight. So basically, in this this little thing, you go in the manual, and it says water and dust and fuel are accumulated in the filter. Remove the plug from the bottom of the fuel filter to drain any impurities. After draining, tighten the plug by hand. Start the engine. Check for fuel leakage. So basically, this little... Uh, deal and especially i don't know if this has i'd have to look i don't know if this has water and fuel a little warning light but that's what this little sensor would be i'd guess but yeah there's there's that um and, and again there's another view of the pump and another view of the little screw you loosen up to uh to bleed the air out of the filter there Okay, now we'll see if this thing starts. Okay, turn the key. And if I change the fuel filter, the fuel filter what I do is I will let them run for a little while just to make sure all the air is kind of bled out of the system so 
So I'll let that run and that's a quick overview of changing the fuel filter and a Kyoto CK3510 hydrostatic drive tractor.